Hello and welcome to Sunny's Beauty On The Channel. Today, do I have a dessert for you? No, I had this epiphany about creating a cake, but not any kind of cake. We're gonna do a strawberry lemonade pound cake. So whenever I have an idea to create, it's about love. And when you're trying to teach someone how to cook, they need precise measurements. Check out the description down below. I'm gonna leave all that good stuff down there in the bottom, okay? But let me tell you this. As our base, we're going to use this box of lemon cake mix. Now y'all know when I did this several years ago, everybody had something negative to say, but I see everybody doing it now. I see everybody making pound cakes from this box. This is your base ingredients. They have everything pretty much in here and you just add a few additional things. Don't be afraid to get in the kitchen and just try something different, but always put love in it. And when you put your soul in it, baby, when you put your whole entireness inside of whatever you cooking, you're gonna have people sucking and licking on fingers. But no more talking, sit back, relax, enjoy my strawberry lemonade pound cake. So if you're ready, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is coat the pan very well. We sprayed it with the pan. Now we're gonna go ahead and coat it with some flour. And this will keep our cake from sticking. Rotate and cover all of that spray until it's covered. Okay, be sure to coat this center cone very well with your flour. Cause you wanna make sure removing your cake, it does not stick or separate. We're gonna remove the excess of flour and place this in the freezer until your batter is ready. First thing you want to do is add both of your cake mix to your large bowl. The second box of cake mix. One cup of sour cream. Third cup of room temperature cream cheese. We're going to add seven medium eggs. One cup of vegetable oil. Half a cup of water. Let me show you this trick. Take your Spam and you just want to coat it. We're going to use this measuring device to take out two cups of our batter. Repeat the same thing. Sit this off to the side. Y'all, this is food coloring. That food coloring got on my fingers, so it's not blood. Now that we have taken out the two cups of cake batter, we're gonna go ahead and add our lemon filling in here. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna add another half a cup of water. This is optional. I'm just gonna put one, two. This is how it should look, just like that have some thickness to it. Now we're gonna sit this off to the side because now we want to work on the filling. We're gonna take our two cups of cake mix, pour it off into here. We're gonna add our strawberry extract. We're gonna add two and a half tablespoon of our strawberry cupcake pudding. I'm gonna add 10 drops of bread. I'm gonna add a third cup of water. I'm 
All right, so this is the outcome of it. Now keep in mind it turned this color because we use a lemon cake mix base. But that's beautiful. So now we're gonna put the cake together. Okay, so I just removed my pan from the freezer. Now we're gonna take our strawberry. Don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna take some chopsticks. I'm gonna add more of the yellow. top up here. Don't have to be perfect. Now this time I'm going to take my stick and just go up. I don't want it to look perfect. All right, so now we're gonna make the glaze. We're gonna use one cup of powdered sugar, a third cup of cream cheese, and one tablespoon of water. We're gonna add another tablespoon. We have to gradually add this water because if you overdo it, it's gonna to be too runny. Just a little bit thinner, y'all, because I really don't want it that thick. So I'm just going to add a half a teaspoon. Alright, so we did two and a half tablespoons of water to that mixture. Let me see if this is how I want it. Yeah, that's it. That is how I want it. Just like that. Alright, let's place the cake.
I'll tell you, I am tired. I am so tired. But this cake turned out to be perfect. Now, there are some things that I'm gonna change the next time that I make it. I'm gonna incorporate a little bit more of the pinkness throughout the cake, but this is my first time making this. I created something out of love. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's left of the cake. And this, this pan that I purchased, I bought this from Publix. They will sell the little pans in the little platter thing that goes on top. They will sell that to you. This cake is so moist. But this is all I have left. They trying to eat the rest of this. I just cut three more slices. It's not gonna last a day, it's not. Make this cake and you will be the star of the party. People gonna talk about this cake for a day. What I put on top of the cake, there are some milk straws and it had like the strawberry little beads on the inside, so I just took it and put it on top of the cake. I bought the straws for that purpose. Even if you're a beginner and don't know how to cook, baby, you can do this. If I gave you the recipe, always remember, son, you're gonna give you measurements. And I want you to get in the kitchen. Don't be intimidated by somebody telling you it's not homemade because if you cooked it in your kitchen, it's homemade. Tell them son, you said it's homemade. And if anybody asks you what this cake is made with, you tell them with a whole lot of love and moisturization, okay? But remember, the most important thing is what you put in is truly what you're gonna get out. So I hope you enjoyed the time we're here together. Until next time, be blessed by y'all.